In this video, we're going to learn how to use a high lift jack for recovery using this. This is the winch kit made for the high lift jacks. It can be used with uh, probably many of the farm jacks that are out there. Uh, let's open it up and I'll show you what the kit consists of. The main component on this piece. You're also going to need a tree strap and chain. There are two main components to the high lift witch kit. Uh, besides the, uh, the the jack itself, one's gonna be this part, which I always keep on my jack, so I don't have to worry about putting it on. Uh, basically, it's just hold on with a bolt through the hole. And if you don't want to leave it on there, it's easy. You just snap clevis. That comes off. Pull your bolt comes off. You slide your foot back on. Slide that back through and it holds it on all together. I just leave it on there because it doesn't get in the way. And then this part actually go on the foot. And this part actually hooks to a 3 8 link chain. So as you pull, this chain pulls. And when you get to the top of your jack, that's where this chain comes in handy. This one links onto the chain you're pulling. So when you let off pressure to rehook that little, little further down on the chain, your chain don't go too far. So it all make more sense when I actually uh, make the video. When you watch the rest of the video and see how I actually do it. Uh, so that's it. It's actually pretty simple. It's a lot of work. But it does a good job. I've used it many times to get myself out of binds out in the woods. Uh, so stay tuned and I'll show you exactly how it's done. Okay, so what we got here behind me is a simulated stuck situation. Uh, I'm going to use this uh, to kind of show you how I rig the high lift jack uh, to actually winch yourself out. So using the high lift jack with the high lift winch kit. Uh, so I'm going to go through, I'm going to show you how I rig it up and then uh, the whole process of getting yourself unstuck with it. So uh, here we go. go. So just getting all the uh, stuff together here for my kit. The red bag, like I showed you the, earlier in the video, is the uh, the winch kit. Yellow bag is like the 90,000 pounds of chain I have. Of course, the high lift jack that I pulled out of the uh, lock rack, but made by high lift. The only other thing I need is the strap and enough clevises to hook everything up. So I think I am good. So now we're gonna start doing the rigging. All right, so on my truck, I built myself some options. I have uh, tow hooks under here. And then when I built my bumper, I built in a receiver hitch. So I can actually slip this into my receiver and run a pin through it to hold it. Or in this case, because most people won't have a front receiver, I'm actually gonna use front tow hooks, which if you're gonna be off-road, I suggest you get tow hooks because there's nothing worse than being stuck in the woods, in the mud, high centered, against a tree, slid to a tree, whatever it is. If you're stuck, you're gonna want a hookup point for sure. I have been there, it is no fun trying to figure out how to get unstuck without a proper hookup point. So, it's easy to slip it over. Make sure it's there. I'm super strong, so if I can't pull this off, it ain't going nowhere. So, actually I like these hooks real good. 
you want to come in yet? I did. Can you see her? Because I like yeah. these hooks, they actually have a spring clip right here. That will keep your strap from falling off. And this has saved me when I'm trying to do this on my own many times. Without that spring clip, you'll be all the way over there trying to hook the rest of your stuff up and your strap will fall off on you for whatever reason, just because that's how things work. So anyway, if you can find a tow hook with a spring clip on it, buy it, they're the best. All right, so now from here, we're just gonna run our tow strap out towards our uh, anchor point. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done. If I look at it, you're seeing my strap doesn't come anywhere close to where the recovery point is, which is fine because we don't actually hook the strap to the jack. We actually hook a chain to the strap because that's how the kit works. It has those clevis hooks which actually hook into a 3 8 inch link chain and that's what you do all your pulling with. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to run we're going to run our chain from the end of the strap to our recovery point where our jack is going to be hooked up. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Alright so to hook my strap I actually replaced the clevis hook on my chain which is like a regular tow hook style hook with a clip on it. And I'm going to actually put this through uh, my D-ring shackle. Um, it's a pretty secure fasten, so it works for me. It's just how I do things. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this, and I'm gonna run my chain out to my uh, my jack. Oh no, chain's too short. Whatever will I do? More chain. Like I showed you earlier in the video when I was at my driveway, just kind of showing the bits and pieces. You got your D-ring hooked to the end of your jack. That's gonna hold the tree saver that goes around your recovery point. And you got the lower mount or the lower lower chain to kind of hold the tension on the chain when you come back to get another pull. And this part, which actually hooks to the chain you're pulling, and it goes on the uh, the foot or uh, the toe. I mean of the uh, of the jack. Just goes through there and then a pinhole to keep it from slipping off. Now when you're running your tree strap, make sure you got a big enough tree for one. And you want to run the strap as low as you can because the lower on the tree, the stronger the tree. So you want to make sure you're down as far as you can get it. tree strap apparently needs to be replaced. It's looking a little tattered, but um, the, cap the, uh, the low capacity of these high lift jacks is only about 5,000 pounds anyway, so this strap I'm sure still has 5,000 pounds worth the, uh, the workload in it. There. Do it right the first time, you don't got to redo it. You want to pull this tight. You want to pull this tight. You want to hook your clevis under the furthest link that you can get it onto. You're just going to slide between the links. That's how these hooks work. I'll just toss that on my way. Back that way, it helps hold it into the hook. So when you lift it, make sure you're set and lift. I'm just gonna turn this up a little bit. Just start jacking. Then you're gonna start seeing it pull the chain. I like to call this the uh, hibbly row machine. You can see how how close I'm getting towards the top here. Okay, I'm pretty much at the top. I'm gonna get one more stroke out of it. I'm not gonna worry about that. That's where this chain comes in handy. 
I like to push down. Hook on your link. Switch your jack to down position. Yeah, that was necessary. And just like you're lowering your vehicle down, hold till it clicks, let it go down. And you see the tension is now on this chain. Or no, tension's coming off this chain, going around this chain. So from here, slide yourself all the way down. Go ahead, switch it up position. Transfer your chain. And the process starts all over again. Start jacking. Now you see tension going back on this chain. Coming off of this one. Hey, just keep on going. If you look, you actually see the truck getting itself forward with every click of the jack. Jack pulls about an inch of stroke. Truck moves about an inch of stroke, so be prepared for this to take a while. So you might look back at your truck and go, you know what? I got a tire up where it looks like I got some traction. So you can actually stop jacking. Walk over to your truck. Start it. And see if you can pull it forward. So. You don't want to go too far because you don't want to bring your strap over. Go ahead and hook the strap, I just toss it aside. I don't want to undo anything until I know my truck is out. Recover with a high lift jack! <laughs>